Yeah, the song is called Bones, Rachel Lipsky. That's a killer song, Joey. It is a killer song. Wow. A little in fact, uh, Wynn was actually playing guitar during the... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I got a new gig, guys. Uh, <laughs> say hello, Rachel. Hi, everybody. Hey. Thanks for having us on the show. We appreciate yeah, Rachel, it. Rachel, and introduce, please, your company to us here. Please, this is Chase Gamble. Hi, everybody. Chase, you Thanks killed it, brother. Me. Killed Chase it. and I go back a little ways. We do a little bit. And yeah. how do you guys know college. each other? So college. much fun. Yeah. We live next door in college, in, a, in, <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the dormitories. <laughs> the oh, dormitory. you have four guys selling weed. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got yeah, it. So, Rachel, so Rachel's, uh, I want to I just get these few things out uh, when, about Rachel. Uh, you've been named the Pepsi Southern Original in the IMEA Country Female Vocals of the Year. Yes, sir. Pretty awesome. Very cool. It sounds. We haven't won awards here yet, so I don't know. Not yet. I don't know what We're it feels waiting. like to win one. We're yet. waiting. Maybe Christmas we'll get yeah. one. You're on your way, you yeah. guys. But that song was called Bones. Uh, yes. Awesome song. Where'd the Where'd that come from? Where did that song sort of? Actually, uh, uh, Keith Gaddis wrote it. Sure. And um, I heard it in 2010, and I'm like, dang. Oh yeah, gotta play this. I gotta have. I gotta cut that. And I didn't have the money to do it at the time, so we cut it in January of 2013, and. Uh, Kind of crazy story. Gary Allen and I cut it at the same time. Yeah. So we kind of held back on releasing it because we didn't want to step on him and his team's toes. Sure. And then in the meantime, while we were waiting to release it, another girl cut it. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, a lot, at the end of last year. So you know what? We went ahead and made the music video and um, released our version and the video and. Sure. So we had a good time with it. Yeah. Awesome song. I was grooving over here. Yeah. Really Rachel, I haven't seen you in a while. Now, are you originally from Colorado? I forgot. I am. Denver. Denver, Ooh, yeah. Denver. Mile High Girl. Hell yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, you, you did a show out in Montana recently, right? What was that? The uh, Country Jam? Yes. Uh, Headwaters. Headwaters. Right. Headwaters Country Is Jam. Is that when you opened for, uh, you opened for the, the Low Cash Cowboys? And Dustin Lynch there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. And you recently opened for uh, Lady Antebellum too, right? Yes, we played uh, uh, Country Jam Colorado in Grand Junction as well the weekend oh, before. Cool. So we opened for Lady A there. Nice. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Where, whereabouts in Grand Junction? Um, I'm trying to remember uh, the campground that we were... Uh, do you remember? In the middle of nowhere. I was gonna <laughs> say, it's beautiful. I've, I've, been, I've done comedy too many times at Grand Junction. I go, where did you go? The airport? Yeah, yeah it was pretty much BFB, yes. Uh, I mean, the 25,000 people a day showed up, so they have to have enough space to, you know, have that amount of people. Right, right. Right. Montana, right? Yeah, and she were she uh, you were in, you did a festival in New York too. Yes, uh, upstate New York, Hunter Mountain. Uh, oh. We opened for Thomas Rhett and Hank yeah. Williams Jr. there. Gosh, we actually followed Thomas Rhett to Colorado as well because they really? played that same show. Well, <laughs> so we were like, you guys in the bus behind them or what? <laughs> <laughs> we're in the truck behind them. Yeah, behind yeah. the bus. There you go. <laughs> nice. So, how much time are you spending on the road right now? Are you are you guys kind of back in town for the holidays? Or are you getting back out there on the road? What's going on? So we just got back. We did a three week sure. tour overseas, uh, entertaining oh, cool. our troops. So we were in Abu Dhabi, UAE, Qatar, wow. Bahrain, Kuwait, and Djibouti. That is so great. Wow. This was our I'm second like, yeah. tour. Good and for you. We're really. so blessed. Armed Forces Entertainment uh, sponsored us yeah. and uh, that had been a lifelong dream of ours and so Chase has been able to go with me both times and cool. it's been truly truly amazing one of the most amazing life-changing things I've ever done yeah talk about seeing those men and women out there I mean what the, what's that like playing with them and talking with them after the shows it's extremely emotional sure um just because they're away from their families you know it felt weird coming back like yeah. a few days before Thanksgiving and not being out there with them you yeah. know I felt selfish you know sure Sure. But it was really, truly amazing. I hope I get to do it every year the rest of my life. Sure. And, and if I can add in, too, yeah. um, playing for our men and women overseas, it's it's the best audience that you could ever play for. Sure. You know, they're, they just seem so thankful to have, you know, just American music of, yeah. of any kind yeah. over there, you know? Well, it's um, the home in one way or another. Yeah, man. So they were they were super cool. We made so many good friends, you know? Yeah. So... Rachel, I was, uh, personal question: how, how do you keep it together doing those shows without getting emotional? Because it's it it does hit your heartstrings. Yeah, I, I mean, the only thing I, you know, there were a few times where it just like, I almost had a 
a meltdown, but um, you know, you just want to give them the best show that you can give because that's what we're out there for. Right. And you know, if I lose it, then you know, <laughs> nobody has a good yeah, time. Yeah, I don't know, how, know? You, how, how you felt, but the times I've had a chance to do comedy in front of them. Oh, that's awesome. I I I put our soldiers on such a high pedestal because they're risking their lives. You know, we talk about it, we make jokes about it, we see it on TV, but they're really playing with real bullets. I mean, they could yep. die at any time. I mean, yeah. this could be the last show they ever see, and it's, that man, it's, it's, it's getting better than that, you know, doing a show yeah. in those circumstances. This time around, the second time, was more, it was more real because sure. there's so much more going on right now over there. And so uh, one of uh, our shows we did in Camp Beery in Kuwait, uh, you know, there were probably 40 or 50 Marines that left the show. Um, like, we were half an hour to being done, and they had to leave because they got called out, you know, on missions. So, I just, that hits you hard. It's real, yeah. It's yeah, it's just, very real. Yeah. How yeah. close to the lines were you from these camps? Uh, Camp Beering is a stone's throw away mm. from yeah. Iraq, so... Yeah. Well, now that we brought the show completely down. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, we're, we're, let's take a, let's yeah, take take a, a quick break. You guys going to want to do another song? Yes, let's absolutely. Great. Let's take a quick break, and we'll come right back on National Film Radio with Le Rachel Lipsky and Chase. Chase, Chase Gamble. Gamble. Chase I'm Gamble. sorry. I was going to say Gamble first. That's <laughs> good. Want to support Radio Free Nashville but can't spend any money right now? Go to GoodSearch.com and fill in Radio Free Nashville as your charity of choice. And every time you do an internet search through Good Search, you'll be donating money to RFN. Rumor has it that Good Search is so good it can't even help you find your keys. I don't believe that. Oh, I, I it's what they it. wrote that, Joey. It has to be the gospel. It is the truth. All right. Ask Good Search. They'll tell you. <laughs> okay, you're listening to WRFN LP Pasquo, Tennessee, Radio Free Nashville 107.1, and proudly also 103.7 FM. Let's do this. Another song with Rachel. Go ahead. This song was probably one of the most popular songs we played over there. Uh, I hope you get a little rednecked with us, guys. Warm up from this cool weather. Homemade stage outside of town. Feel full of fun.
like it's my kind of tune, Rachel. I love it. It's like Ashton yeah. Shepard only. Man, I Red love Nick that song. Right? That's oh, great. Thank yeah. you. What a great Red reference. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I mean, you Ashton sound Shepard. a little bit like her, but oh, you know, thank I, you. I don't want to like. She's listening. I don't want to piss her off, but like, you sound good. <laughs> oh, really thank do. you. I love it. Yeah. Thank you very much. And of course, Chase. You know, he's I know too. Chase is a rock star. <laughs> we should uh, we should call what we do now Rednecking, right? Yeah, you think so? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. National Film Radio. We're Rednecking. Y'all tune in to Match <laughs> FM Radio. We're going to have another song. We got another song. <laughs> Chase is going to bring some beer. We're going to have some fun. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> so tell us about that song. I mean, Birthday Suits from Hillbillies. How's that come out? Yeah, so I co-wrote that one with a couple oh, of buddies of mine. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> now tell us, where did you come up with that? Um, you know what? We uh, got into a room, the three of us, and uh, Will Rambo and Mark Elliott and I, and uh, Will was like, you guys, I don't care what your ideas are today. This is my idea. Yeah. And naked. And we're like, hell yeah. And Mark just like all of a sudden busts out this melody. Yeah. So we just, uh, we literally wrote it, I think in an hour and 15 minutes. And it's one of my favorite songs to play. It's got a killer hook, man. It's I love it. Thank you. Yeah, they're they're amazingly talented uh, gentlemen, and it was a lot of fun to write. It's a lot of fun to play. We got to get out of here in a couple of minutes, but tell us what's going on next with Rachel Lipsky. So Pepsi Southern Original. Uh, yep. Next year we got a bunch of stuff coming up over cool. the summer. We'll be doing a radio tour July and August. Uh, we're playing Taste of Country up in New York again in June. Um, we're picking songs right now. We're in the last stages. We're going to be recording uh, end of January, early February, another EP. Yeah. And uh, Great. we'll be going overseas again next November. Um, Super. So, yeah, just so trying to. Folks who want to find out where to find you, where, where can they go? Uh, RachelLipsky.com. And it's spelled Lipsky. So, Rachel, R A C H E L L I P S K Y.com. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Please follow us. We want to follow you and learn more about you guys as I'm well. going to put that on our, our page tomorrow, so okay, if great. anybody needs to know, mm -hmm. they can come check us out. Awesome. Check you out on our page. Thank you. Yeah, especially if they're driving. I don't want you guys checking out your phones while you're driving. Yeah, and, uh, wait we, till you get home, guys. we got yes. a couple other songs. Uh, what, what are the songs that Gail has been playing during the breaks? What, what are yeah, those? Yeah, we, we can play another song here at the break. Um, off of anything you want, whatever you want here. Pick one oh, yeah. Play a Feel Sin coming on. Have you played that right. one yet, Gail? No. Let's okay, see let's see that one. Let's do the I feel I feel a sin coming on. Yeah, over. Rachel and Chase, thank you so much. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank you guys yeah, for having us. We appreciate you. Really. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Rachel Lipsky, pretty awesome. Yeah. This is a uh, this is I feel a sin coming on, Win. From the st Studio Sin. You shouldn't feel a sin coming this on. This is not a live sin. This is Studio Sin. Yeah, there you go. Studio okay. Sin. All right, we'll be right back on National Film Radio. Cool. Great job, guys. Sweet. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Awesome. Great to see you, you, man. If you guys want to hang out nice with me, photos. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Yeah. We'd nice love to meet you. A few while you were singing, thank we're going to get so some spray of group photos out there. Is that a great? Cool. Yeah. yeah, thank you, guys. You're welcome. Okay, girlfriend. I think I bumped it. Did I move it? That's okay. I don't check it. Sorry? He said the uh, sin is coming. I said, what is this on the sin? Ten seconds. Three. You guys are. Isn't that Wait, good? Oh, we're not even there yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, man. Good song. I love that. Rachel killed it. Yeah, totally. Ashley Coughlin is a wonderful actress who can be seen in such works as The Shrink, The Body Sculptor, The 700 Club, Nashville, and apparently a couple of Joe. <laughs> I, I like Fair the way you just show, slipped right? that right in there, Joey. I don't know. It's a show. Put it right up front. Pretty good She's show. been in Cup of Joe. Let's hear it. <laughs> Cup of Joe show. There you go. That's it. Welcome to the studio tonight. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty interesting so far. All right. Good. You really, you really did slide in that Cup of Joe. You're kind of quiet on it, too. It's all right. You know. It's all right. Say it. Cup of Joe. You yeah. killed it in Cup of Joe. Oh, everybody. What happened in Cup of Joe? You were in Cup of Joe. What happened in your episode of Cup of Joe? I got to watch what Wynn is when he's preaching. Ah. <laughs> and what Joey does when he tries to get a date. Yeah. Yeah, and well, both was, of those are very it accurate. Called, it was episode eight, is that correct? Yeah. And it was and called the, the foursome. Foursome. Yep, and both of those are very accurate representations of what we do outside of, of this. All right, well, yeah. I will put that up there for, for Ashley's <laughs> tomorrow, for everyone My to see that. Accomplishment. He's You're like, no, please day. don't do that. Yeah. So how did you find time to get on this show tonight? I mean, you are never in town. You're in Alabama, you're in Tennessee, you're in Georgia, you're everywhere. I... 
I wanted to try the show and I, I know when too well, so I was like, there's gonna be a way, one way or another. I just moved everything around. So the good, film you've good. been doing, you've been working on a film down in uh, North Alabama mm -hmm. in the Huntsville, uh, Decatur area. What's what's it called? It's called The Shrink. Right, right. And so uh, what, tell us about that. Um, I play the female lead, Stephanie, and what happens to her, she loses her father years ago and she doesn't know that he's still alive and she goes like on this crazy hunt looking for him and she has all these emotional breakdowns and she tries to even take home men that look basically possibly could be her father and everything but at the very end you know it's supposed to be one of those feel good type movies but for now I can't tell you much more about it because I don't want to give away the ending but we're getting close to wrapping up and around February March you guys will get to finally see it. How many days have you been shooting? Um, I'd say probably about a month or so. We do a lot of it on the weekends so that way it's easier to accommodate schedules to get them in there one way or another because we do a lot of other film work during the week. Now tell us about the casting breakdown that you put out a few weeks ago for a, a particular male role. <laughs> Joey, Joey, were you paying attention to this? What's that? She put out a casting call. Did you? Were you in on this? No. Tell us, if, no actually, tell us what? exactly what you were yeah, looking for. <laughs> Give us the breakdown. When should know this because he was one of the ones that auditioned originally. Oh, I didn't actually audition. What? No, well, technically, I, my, technically. My, my name was on the list of possibles until I found somebody pretty. Ah. Like Joey. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry I couldn't get you, Joey. Uh, no, I think Joey was too sorry. young. Oh, wasn't wasn't, it, wasn't it supposed to be an, uh, uh, a Joe, a, uh, I want to say an older gentleman. <laughs> he was a Joey type for a second. Yeah, a Joey type? Oh, oh I'm sorry, Joey. Go right ahead. Uh, That's a Joey yeah, time. Now, what was this? Uh, you um, the director needs someone that kind of resembles sort of George Clooney type, or at least ah. a fatherly figure type. Mm. So. To make I don't think we, we, either one of us can be there <laughs> well, at all. I mean, at first, you know, it's like, okay, let's just go with when you're someone that's in their 40s, you know, that could be your fatherly type that you could make out with. I was like, yeah. But anyway, again, it doesn't us. apply to either one but of us. But Joey, <laughs> to, to say what it really said. I'm not that bad of a kisser. Come in, on. In like, in like big <laughs> bold <laughs> letters, it said, make out scene or something nice. like that. <laughs> well, this wasn't a Craigslist thing, was it? No, no. Oh, okay. Uh, originally, you be careful with this. Originally in it, I actually put, you must be comfortable of kissing the lead female. So I started getting all all these calls in and some of them weren't even male which was hilarious i was like did you guys not read this no they just read the bold letters that said make out scene that's what i do when <laughs> i you get some, you got some lesbian action going on there <laughs> <laughs> i've been offered a part before but no i haven't done that yet <laughs> <laughs> so how was how was that doing a big kissing scene? Have you said something you've done before? Um, this I've done a few other kissing scenes before. Like the first one I did when I found out who it was, I was like, "Yep, I'll do it. No problem. I can do it even for free." <laughs> well, I see that look that I'm getting. Yeah. It, it wasn't us, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's change gears a little bit. I want to talk about No Service, which was a 48-hour mm -hmm. film, right? You played a character called Hillary. Talk about that movie. Um, this dysfunctional family, basically, their cable goes out, and the cable guy comes, and the oldest daughters try to seduce the cable guy. Sure. But the youngest does not like him, so she actually tries to kill him. Oh, wow. So it's a little twisted. A little light lighthearted comedy, yeah? It's like you get more than you get more than just your basic cable service package there. Talk about working as an actor. I mean, we talked to a lot of filmmakers um, about working on, uh, as we talked to Chris earlier, about working on the forty-eight or the fifty-four and what it's like to be a filmmaker doing that. But what is like, what is it like to act on a forty-eight-hour film? What are the what because it's it, in general as an actor, there's a lot of waiting, right? Oh, yeah. You sit around, and you wait. Long as I had in right. time was eight hours before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You know, when you're looking at the 48, it's even faster, but still in the end, you're still doing a lot of the waiting, I would assume. But yeah. what's it like being an actor on a 48 film? Um, it For me, personally, I would think of it just like any other project. Sure. But it's more hectic because you have a very, very tight schedule that you're just like, boom, boom, boom. It's like, okay, done, next scene, let's go. Yeah. And you're just sitting there, I'm not ready. You yeah. are now. There's really no time to like memorize lines. You sort of just got to memorize literally line by line. Let's yep. do this one and knock out the next one and then... And just hope that nobody screws up. Right, right, exactly, yeah. Hey, tell us about Snapped, Killer Couples 405. That was mm. one. That was my first makeout role that I got to do. Oh. That, that was really fun. Well, I noticed your credit, credit yeah. says college yeah. makeout that, role. That actually was my credit on the show. In the credits you can find really? it, it actually says That's college funny. makeout role. Yeah, there's no, there's no bones about what you were doing in that scene. I, I don't know. I was, you know, confused. Are you getting typecast? Really? You need to break out of it a little bit. <laughs> well, originally I was... Get the makeup girl in. But, you know, look at this one. Look at this one, Joey. Yeah, well. Read what it says for the 700 Club. She did the 700 Club. Look at her bra Look at her character. Yeah, gang leader's girlfriend <laughs> slash killer. killer. I won. No making oh, wow, out, just guns and knives. Yeah. <laughs> the, the gang leader in it was actually a friend of mine, and we went to do the project, and he did not know that I was going to get to kill him. Yeah. 
and he finds out, he's like, oh, this is cool, I get to die. Producer looks at him, well, guess how you die? How? Her? What? Oh, no. What, what do you mean her? She gets a gun. No, do not give that woman a gun. <laughs> yeah, and you, you know, that's not the first time you've died on screen. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. The red balloon, tell us about this one. You were, you, 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 were, you were down as victim. I got my head chopped off. I got to pick out my head. It was really cool. Oh, my gosh. I sounds like the, a James Lipton question. I was the, the first time you died on screen. I was the only, oh, that sounds so wrong so <laughs> <laughs> I was the only victim of the movie, and all the characters in it had no names. We were just yeah. killer, victim. Right. So I was a victim, and they come to me and they're like, oh, guess what? You get to pick out your head. What? They're holding up these heads, and they're yeah. like, all right, which one looks like you? Neither. Okay, which one you love? That one. She's got a smaller head. Do her. Yeah, which one do you want to make out with is what they should no, ask you. No, no. Joe, you know what I noticed about I Ashley? I lost my head in that for real, though. <laughs> not only is this girl working all the time, yeah. she's doing different characters. This is just not the make-out girl. No, you're she's right. She's a killer. She dies. She cries. Yep. You were a crying griever. You were a, you were a heckler on the Frost. Tell us about Mr. Frost. You, that's, that just came out Monday. That one, it's um, just started with that one. Basically, it was just heckling Tracy be the way to put it. <laughs> so we like, there she is. But, like, um... That's the best I can describe it, because you've done it before, Wynn. Heckling? Yeah, heckled people? He heckled I'm not, I was going with I've, been heckled. I've yeah. been heckled on numerous times. Was, yeah. it, just, was it about the duck? Well, no, it wasn't about the duck, no. Oh, okay. She, keeps, she wants me to bring the duck from the Tennessee Lottery he commercial. He was cute. He was a cute duck. <laughs> so tell us real quick, what's going on next? What have you got working on? Um, starting next month, we're doing a TV miniseries that originally started as a dating commercial. And it got picked up, and they're like, hey, let's turn it into a show about dating couples. Sure. So I'll get the course make out again, which I don't know who doesn't want to death for pay. Yeah. But um, it, it's, a com it's fun, though. You can do a little comedy in at the same time. Sure. And then afterwards, we got another indie film coming, and we're going to be wrapping up The Shrink. And then I'm also producing, writing, and acting in a, <coughs> a horror thrill web series. And that's going to run for about three, four months for the first season, which is approximately 20 episodes. Cool. We've got the first episode slated and ready to go. So just got to get to January for it. For the people that have not worked with Ashley Coughlin, mm -hmm. I'm a blur. Where do they find you? Everywhere. Yeah. And do you have a website? Yeah, you make out scene one. <laughs> They have a wake out, make out scene on, on YouTube, and you can find her there. <laughs> I haven't seen that there yet, but um, you can find me. Uh, the show Unplanned Motherhood is also on YouTube. Uh, Johnny Dynamo, Mr. Frost, you can find me on ABC Family sometimes. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, there's fan pages, Instagram, and I'm also on eBay and Amazon. No, nice. they're not selling me, but you know. Yeah, there you go. Why not? And we are going to put episode eight up on Facebook tomorrow sure. so everybody can see it. Is there a make is there a make out scene in that? Because I if there is, no, I wasn't there. There that was day. a special mm, cut you scene. Seamus a, might have Was Seamus uh, in on that? I might have left a light. Seamus, I don't know if it was with you or the cat that Seamus got lucky. Uh, Seamus went to LA after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you scare him that badly? That's it. <laughs> Scary. Well, Ashley, thanks for coming in. Oh, it was really Appreciate cool. it. Sorry yeah. we couldn't spend more time with you, but we got to pack everybody in, you know? Oh, Congratulations yeah. on all your success. You're oh, doing thanks. really great, kid. Ashley Coughlin, thanks for joining us. We'll be right back on Nashville Film Radio right. to wrap things up.